Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this awesome tutorial series on auto layout with tiny constraints in Swift 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's lesson. Okay, in the previous episode we have finished our learning by uh, taking a look at aspect ratio. Now that is uh, inside the tinyconstraints.swift file and today we are going to take a look, let me just go to our aspect ratio here, there it is, and today we are going to talk about leading to training of, trailing of you, leading and left to right and left. And then we are going to talk about all the other ones uh, to the trailing, to the top, to the bottom. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at the leading to trailing. And as you can see, uh, this is a tra a trailing to uh, constrainable. So basically we are taking our views leading anchor and putting it to the trailing anchor of the view that we want to constrain it to. And of course we have our offset, relation, priority, and uh, is active, but all of these are okay as default values. Okay, so let's see this in action. Let's go back to our root view controller, uh, set of views, and uh, let's see here, what do we have here? Let me just uh, delete all of these and let's set up uh, our views from scratch. So I want to have this view one, as origin uh, to super view, uh, yes, and uh, let's see, origin to super view with some insets, so tiny edge insets. And if you are uh, new to this video and to this tutorial series, go ahead and take a look at the previous videos where I talk all about this origin to super view and the tiny edge insets. So yeah, if you don't already know this, then go ahead and take a look at the previous videos. So top, let's see, 32, left, 32, uh, bottom, 0, right, 0, and uh, I would just simply use the safe area. Okay, using safe area, let's set this to true. Great. Now, one thing that we want to add in here is our size of so U1, size, and um, I will add in here a CG size. And uh, that would be, let's say, 200 by 200. That is okay. Okay, let's hit Command R and see how all of this looks at the moment. Okay, pretty dandy. Okay, um, that is okay by me. And now we want to take a look again at the leading to trailing anchor. Uh, let's go back and now we want to use on view 2 this leading to trailing of and I will use of course the one with all of uh, the uh, options and the constrainable of course is view 1 and offset let it be 60 relation priority is active and that is okay so now our view 2 uh, view 2's leading anchor is aligned with the trailing anchor of view 1. What else do we have to do here? Well, we could use, let's say, uh, let us just use the top, so view uh, 2, top 2 super view, and uh, I will use uh, in, uh, an offset here, super view, and uh, let's have our offset to be 32 again because I want to make them aligned on the top and using safe area of course is true. So all of this is uh, old stuff. And uh, what else do I want to? Well, I want to create a size for this view. So size, let it be only 100 by 100. Okay, and of course I need to have this as view too. So let's hit command R again and um, see the leading to trailing magic. There we go. The view 2's leading anchor is set to the view 1's trailing anchor with an offset of 60. 
pretty straightforward. Okay, let's move forward. Now, uh, leading to view constrainable. Now, this is not leading to a trailing anchor, it is leading to another view's leading anchor. That is correct. So, uh, let's see, what do we want to add in here? So, uh, again, let's delete all of this. I believe the size should remain. So, view to dot leading and uh, let's see leading to and uh, we have this constrainable and that is of course our view one so now this will be added to the leading anchor of u1 so uh, let's have an offset of zero and because we have an offset uh, of zero we will not add that in there and we can omit all of these if you wanted to you could do or rather yet let me just show you i will add in here an offset of 12 okay and delete everything else because all of those as defaults are pretty nice so now that we have anchored view to our leading uh, anchor of our view one what we want to do is uh, use our view twos top anchor. So here you will uh, learn another one, top two constrainable, or uh, rather at top two, the bottom of constrainable. We will uh, uh, take a look at this in just a moment. So uh, view one is what we want to have here. So we are setting the top anchor of U2 to the bottom anchor of U1. And with an offset of, let's say, 32 is okay. And everything else goes by default. So let's see how this works. And we should see the green box at the bottom of our blue box and there it is we have an offset of uh, 32 and this offset is the 12 because we are offsetting this uh, by 12 from the u1's leading anchor okay that is leading let's move forward okay left to right now this is kind of the same as leading to trailing so uh, yeah let's let's take a look at that and um, maybe let's add in here a new view so view to view free view free add sub view uh rather yet let's add this to our view and here we go it's view free and um, now let me just have this again copied and pasted for view Three and let's have this as 150 by 150. So uh, let's take a look at how this should work. So what we are trying to show you here is that view two or rather that view three, uh, left to right. So left to right of constrainable. Okay, and we will choose this with the offset and we will constrain it to view two. Okay, so you can see we are building all this up real fast and the offset is two, 12, 12 and uh, everything else is not that really important. What else do we have to do? Well, we have to constrain it to the top. So I will constrain it and I will use another one here, view three, top two, and I will constrain it to the top of our view two. So yeah, we are putting all of these side by side. So why not? The top should be the top of view two. Okay, let's build and run. And now we should see this new view free near this green view and there it is. So we are first of all, left to right uh, by offset of 12. This is the 12 and the view freeze top anchor is equal to the view two stop anchor that is awesome and of course here we have our size width and height of 150 so you can see that we already have this top to bottom top but we will get there in just a moment so left to right that is that for uh, this um, anchor so uh, let's see uh, here we have left 
and that is basically the same as leading so I won't uh, go with this one I believe it's self-explanatory uh, trailing to leading so that is the opposite of uh, leading to trailing and uh, yeah let's see uh, leading trailing to leading means that we will anchor the trailing anchor of our view to the leading anchor of our constrainable and i believe this is a pretty self-explanatory i won't go into detail go ahead and take a look at basically they are just the same trailing here we go a right to left a right and of course here we have our top to bottom that i was talking about earlier and this top and let's see bottom to top uh, yeah these are self-explanatory just so you know that we can uh, use those and finally a bottom to our view now uh, just to finish this video i'm going to talk about this center x to view and center y to view and uh, yeah that is it for uh, this class so uh, center x to view let's take a look at that Okay, it's basically quite the same as with the super views, but uh, let me just show you. So, uh, let's see here. What do we want to do here? I have added this view free, so let's add in another view, uh, view four. So, view dot add subview, view four. There we go. Uh, and uh, now we want to center X this to, let's say, view four for center x and here we have our constrainable but as you can see we do have some more options here and the constrainable let it be this view free so we want to put this view for uh, underneath our view free and we want to center it and uh, our anchor we don't care about that multiplier well let it be just uh, one or rather yet uh, let's uh, let's use 1.5 offset maybe zero and uh, we will take a look at it if we change that and the other two is not important right now okay uh, let's see how this works and uh, let's see if uh, this renders out at all because I believe we need to add some more here yes correct so uh, let's see we want to add a size so that will be it basically so view 4 and again 150 by 150. let's see uh, i believe we have messed uh, these things up uh, with this multiplier so let's remove this for now and let's build and run okay so this is centered to our uh, view free and because we don't have a top anchor it is putting all of this all the way up so let's add in here a top anchor so top to bottom view four top to bottom and i will use this one top to bottom the second one uh, on my list to the view freeze uh, bottom of course and the offset let it be let's wait 12 and uh, all of the other ones are unimportant at the moment so let's build and run and now we should see that view 4 is under view 3 indeed there we go and because uh, this it is the same height uh, and width it the same now let's take a look at what we uh, deleted here and that is our multiplier so multi Liar, I believe that's how we spell that out. Hope I did that correctly. Maybe I didn't. So let's take a look at here and a multiplier with an I. Okay, let's paste that in there. Okay, and let's build and run and see what changes really. And what actually changes it is pushed by 150 uh, to the right. Of course. Uh, I don't really think that this is kind of useful to do we could do it in other ways but yeah just so you know and uh, because we don't have any offset uh, 
we might as well delete that. But before I leave you for today's video, I will show you how to offset this to the left. Okay, and because this is to the left, we want to offset it, let's say by 50 pixels, we want to add in minus 50. So let's see how that goes. There we go. It is offset by 50 pixels. Okay, now that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this awesome tutorial on auto layout with tiny constraints. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Always subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified of the next video of tiny constraints because we are going to dive even deeper. We are going to take a look at animations, stacks and so on. So I will see you in the next one.